Hi friends, welcome to Updog Yoga. I'm so glad you're here today. This is more of an educational and inspiration video about yoga twist. So the first one we're gonna do today is thread the needle. So in a tabletop, you'll thread your right arm underneath your left arm and bring your right ear to your mat. This will open up your shoulders and your back. It's great before downward facing dog or after downward facing dog. And every time you do a twist, make sure you do it on the other side as well. So this time your left arm will thread underneath your right arm and you'll bring your left ear to your mat. Breathe. This one for downward facing dog. Normally we have a widened stance so we can shift forward into a plank, but for this one, shorten your stance. Walk your feet in so you can bring your heels down to the floor and twist. So right hand goes to your left ankle, twist your chest open, take a few breaths here, and then switch sides. So left hand goes to your right ankle, twist your chest open, and you can return to your regular down dog with your feet wider and your hips high and shift forward into a plank. This is another great option if you'd like to warm up your core. Hip dips, you can do this on your hands or even on your forearms. Just go side to side with your feet hip distance apart onto the edges of your feet. This next one from down dog, lift your right leg up and then twist your right knee to your left elbow. So swing it across, try it again. Lift your right leg up and twist. Revolved mountain climber, it's usually called. One more time, twist, and then move into fallen triangle. It's also called fallen star. Extend your right leg long, drop to your left heel, and lift your chest, lift your hips, and we'll try it on the other side. So back to down dog. This time, lift your left leg in the air, and then twist. I like to open up my hips sometimes. <laughs> twist your left knee to your right elbow. So inhale, lift your leg, Exhale, twist. This is great core work too. And then move into your fallen triangle. So knee to elbow, extend your left foot out, drop onto your edge of your foot and your right heel. Lift your chest. You can reach your arm up or across your ear. Look to the floor to avoid straining your neck and then come back to down dog. You can rest in child's pose. And now we'll move to some standing poses. These are my favorite. I recommend a block for some of these poses. So in mountain pose with your feet hip distance apart, inhale, reach your arms up, Tadasana. Exhale, twist to your right side, pull your right hand behind you. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, twist to your left side, pull your left hand behind you. This is a great warm up for deeper twists. Like your chair twist, sit down into your chair and do the same thing, pull your right hand behind you, reach your left hand forward, come back to center and twist your left arm behind you. So moving from simple to complex, this time step your big toes together so your toes are touching and come into prayer twist. So sit down into your chair, hook your left elbow across your right thigh, hands to heart center, and then try it on the other side. Sit really low, make sure your knee is not jutting forward, your hips are even, and twist. So right elbow across your left thigh. This time bring your hands down. This is another great option after prayer twist. It is challenging though, toe balance twist. So hands in prayer, you'll lift your heels, twist to one side and the other. You can also hook your elbow or move into side crow. Now this is a challenging arm balance. I like to do this with a block, with my feet on the block. Bend your elbows like chaturanga and lean into it. So here's from the other side. From your toe balance, bring your hands down, shift forward and try to float your legs, even if it's just for a second. Progress. And step back into a lunge. This is crescent lunge with your back heel lifted. You can also do this with your back heel down. It would be revolved side angle. This is revolved crescent lunge with your back heel lifted, your hands in prayer. Moving into revolved half moon. So from a standing split, You'll keep your left leg in the air and twist your right arm up. Step your left foot back, this time moving into your lizard lunge. So walk your right foot to the edge of your mat, hands to the inside, and you can reach back and grab your foot. So opposite foot, lean back into your twist. And if you can't do this, I'll show you another way to do this on the other side. So to come out of it, find your lunge and move into your left side. So from standing, or you can pivot like I am here. 
Come into your high crescent lunge. Lift your right heel over the ball of your foot. Sink down into your lower body and reach your arms up. Hands in prayer. Lean your chest forward and hook your right elbow across your left thigh. So this is how we did it on the other side. Another way to do it is to plant your right hand down and twist your left arm up. If you can't do that lizard lunge, this is a great option just to reach your hand back. And then moving into our half moon. So normally you'd kick your leg high, but for half moon, you wanna drop your foot in line with your hip. And a great way to help yourself get there is to use a block just to steady yourself and find your balance. So press your, le your left thigh back, press your right foot down, step back. And again, you can try your lizard lunge on this side. You walk your left foot to the edge of your mat so you have space for your hands on the inside. Reach back and try to grab your foot. Lean back, spread your toes. Take your time. And then slowly come out of this. I'm also gonna show you a side plank option that feels like an awesome twist. You bring your foot slightly forward, drop onto the back edge of your heel. And then moving into another standing sequence. This is pyramid pose. And then we'll move into revolve triangle. So grab opposite elbows behind your back, step one foot forward and the other foot back. So see how my legs are straight? Just keep a small bend in your knees so you can press your feet into the floor and fold over your leg. Come into your pyramid pose. So hands down. For less of a stretch, you can bend your right knee. More of a stretch, you can straighten your leg. And then we'll come out of it the same way we came in. This is just to warm up for a revolved triangle. So come back. This time, right hand to your hip. Reach your left hand forward like you're gonna shake someone's hand. Lean forward, and once you have a flat back, you can bring your left hand down and twist your right arm up. So this is challenging because you're constantly squaring your hips. Make sure your right hip is back, left hip is forward. And again, you can bend your front knee. To come out of it, press into your feet and lift up. So I'll break it down on the other side as well. Step one foot back. This is kind of a shortened stance. So in the crescent lunge, we had a long stance. This is much shorter. So grab opposite elbows or even reverse prayer, back of your hands together or palms of your hands together. So with a shortened stance, inhale, lift your chest and exhale, fold over your leg. This is more of a rounding of your spine rather than a flat back. You can bring your hands down, take a few breaths here. Make sure your hips are squared so you'll pull your left hip back and your right hip forward. And we'll come out of this the same way we came in. Hands in reverse prayer or grab opposite elbows, lift up. Make sure your hips are squared to the front of your mat. Reach your right hand forward like you're gonna shake someone's hand. And with a flat back, bring your hand down. And I definitely recommend a block for this pose. It will help you square your hips and twist your opposite arm up. So left arm twists up as your left leg is forward. Press your back heel down. And then slowly come out of it the way you came in with a flat back, lift up. And now we'll move to seated. So you can cross your legs, inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, twist to one side. Do it on the other side, inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, gently twist. So we did both sides, but now swap out your legs, bringing the opposite leg in front. Because we wanna keep everything even, especially when we're doing twists. These are great for neutralizing your spine after big back bends or even as a gentle warm up. So moving from simple, now we're moving into complex. So you'll cross one leg over the other into half fish or Lord of the Fishes and twist your chest towards your inner thigh. So with every inhale, sit up taller and exhale, twist a little more. Try to keep your hips grounded on the floor. There are several ways to do this. And then switch out your legs. So reach one arm up and then twist to your inner thigh. You can bring your arm down. Some people can bind with the arm between your leg and you can reach back and grab your, op your opposite hand. That's a very deep twist. <laughs> if you have any back pain, definitely keep it with a simple twist like a cross-legged twist rather than half fish. So now moving into more complex poses eight angle pose. So first, 
To warm up, I'm gonna go into compass pose. So you stack your right leg over your left leg and extend your leg out. Now, if you're here today, if you're still working on your eight angles, stay here. To move into the twist, you'll stack your leg over your arm, wrap your legs, and try to lift your hips, squeeze your legs together, and then make sure to try it on the other side as well. This is another pose that I like, especially for beginners, to kind of um, understand how to lift your hips up. It's not the easiest thing. I'm still working on it, and we'll work on it together, definitely through this channel. So let me break down baby grasshopper. So hug your leg towards your armpit. Squeeze your knee in, grab opposite leg, and try to lift your hips. Lean forward. It's more about leaning forward with back bends and with, not back bends, with <laughs> arm balances. There we go. So from hero pose, this is where you sit on your feet and twist. That's a simple way to do it. Here's a little more complex. Deer pose or sage twist. One leg in front and the other foot behind. And you can walk your hands forward and fold over your leg. This is a great pose to hold for several minutes. Um, it's done in yin yoga a lot because it feels so nice. So one leg in front, the other leg behind. Turn your torso and fold. Slow deep breath in, long deep breath out. Always connect to your breath in yoga. And finally, the last best twist is lying on your back and do a simple supine twist. So there are options for this. You can extend one leg long and twist your knee across your body. This is the simplest, best way to do this. Drop your knees together over to one side and you'll look in the opposite direction of your knees. So you'll take a few breaths here to neutralize your spine after you do a yoga practice and make sure to switch sides. Knees to the left, look to your right. Take this time to make space, slow down, soften your face. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. I will see you next time.